welcome to Across the Floor Progressions. Now these are mostly advanced progressions and we're assuming that you've already done a full warm up and you're ready to go across the floor. We're going to start with a variety of jazz walks. The first would just be a hip walk. Now in order to achieve this walk, you've got to be able to swivel your hips like this while you keep your chest straight ahead. Looking straight ahead, it looks like this. And now dancers will demonstrate. Here we go, five, six, ready, and. You'll notice that the arms don't move very much. We're going to keep it in the swivel of the hips. First group, five, six, five, six, ready, and. Next group in. Next, we're going to add isolations onto the walk. We're going to take a walk to the side. One, two, three, four. This is called a spider. Take a step and pirouette. Let's take it across. Five, six, five, six, ready, and. Four shoulders, a spider, and a half turn. Shoulders, one spider, and a half turn. Good. Let's take that just a little bit farther. After your spider and your step, step instead of a half turn, a pivot. Kick ball change, pirouette stop, shoulder, shoulder layout. Come up and you're ready to go again. The second group will demonstrate. Six, ready, and shoulders. One spider, step, step. Kick ball change, pirouette stop, shoulder, 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 again. Kick ball change, pirouette stop. All right, let's look at the simple version coming back. Here we go, five, six, ready, and. Simple version, one spider, one half turn. On that spider, make sure you're rolling your shoulders. Next group in with a harder version. It goes step, step, kick ball change, pirouette stop, shoulder, shoulder layout. Very nice dancers. Next, we'll move on to the hips in isolation with a walk. We're going to take that first hip walk. One, two, three, four. This is called a swivel turn. It's actually like a soutenu the first time the second time. It'll have two turns. One, it's low, it's high. First arm low, second arm high. Five, six, ready, and four walks. Hip swivels, hip swivels. Very nice. Hip swivels, hip swivels. Good, now let's look at all the dancers coming back on the left. Five, six, ready, and. Five, six, next group in. Good, looking for the swivel in the hip. We'll take that a little further by adding another isolation. We just did our swivels from there this movement is called the troop today, but I learned it as the four corners back in the 70s. It's a hip circle, a hip circle, hip prepare, other side circle, circle, circle. Now from here, you take it straight to the front with your hip, a circle, a layout down. You come up on count number six, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're ready to swivel again. Five, six, first two. Two swivels, and here's the four corners. Prepare and turn. Good, you've really got a plie to get this. Here we go, hip to the side, nice layout. Next group in, ready, and. Two swivels, here's the four corners, or the troop. Good, it trains a very nice hip isolation. Six, seven, and a big circle. And five, up six, one more set. Good. 
Now, you gotta get that plie going. Five, six, seven, eight. Hip circle, lay out on five, six, seven, eight. Good, now let's look at it on the other side. All four dancers at the same time. It's five, six on the left. Good, nice swivel. And hip, hip, hip prepare. Other side. One more set. Looking for a nice swivel on that turn. Let's go really deep in the plie. One, two, four, five, six, and exit. Next, we're going to go into a tip walk. A tip walk is a little bit different than just a straight hip walk. In a straight hip walk, your whole body faces this direction. In a tip walk, you would face your audience, but your hips go in that direction. So a tip walk would go this way. Now, from the tip walk, we're going to do an all a second kick and a beginning layout. One, you come to second, lay out, and pivot. Let me show you going across this way. Ready for that tip walk? One, we go to second, looking at the ceiling, and pivot. Five, six, ready, and. Good, second. Now we're not looking for a very big kick. It's fine just going into the side, 90 degrees. Good. Now on the other side, we'll have all four dancers together. A foursome, five, six, on the left, six, seven, eight. When you do the layout, remember to look straight up. Let's add on to that a little bit. We're going to do the same thing, the four walks, a la seconde, and a layout. Now from here, three, two, one, one, two, three. So we're adding three lunge turns and a three count shunne. Five, six, ready, and. Here it goes. Lunge turn, lunge turn, lunge turn, one, two, three. One more set. Good, let's do those lunge turns. And one, two, three. The next variation is pretty simple. Instead of doing three lunge turns, you just do two of them. One, two, three, step, fan. And you continue your walk from the fan. Five, six, ready, and. Here's your layout, kick lay out, two lunge turns, and one, two, three, step, fan. Walk it out, and two lunge turns, and one, two, three, step, fan. Good, now let's look at both those versions. On the left, first two dancers. Five, six, ready, and. They're going to have the three lunge turns. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Next dancer's in. They have two lunge turns and a one, two, three fan. One more set. Two lunge turns and a one, two, three and a fan. Now usually at the beginning of your across the floor, you start with a lot of walks. I've added jazz walks and walks with isolations. And then we'll go into our technique. The first thing we're doing across the floor in technique are attitudes. We'll step attitude to the front, to the side, to the back, and change with a single pirouette. First two dancers, five, six, ready, and. Now on that pirouette, we're going to have a perfect circle of the arms. Watching to spot. One, two, three, Good. 
Let's take that just a little farther and we're going to add a developpe kick to it. So it goes like this. Step, attitude, attitude, attitude. One turn, step, dev, low, pivot. Step, dev, low, pivot. Now you'll notice when I turned around, I brought my arms in and then back out. It's optional. Five, six, ready, and step. Attitudes. Here's a single turn. Step, dev, low, arms in. Good, let's see it again. Now when you do that turn, you want to get up on that releve. One more set. Good. Let's look at both those combinations again. Five, six, simple one. One, two. Now we're going to look for a strong spot. Step up. Next, dancers in. One, two. Here comes your step. Step dev low, arms in. Good. Beginning dev low pays are always nice to connect to attitudes. Nice girls. Let's look at some more dev low pays. This time we'll take the dev low pays to the front and to the side. One, two, three to the front. Now these are not difficult. But here's where it becomes difficult. When you turn, this leg must land in a turned out position. So often you see your dancers kicking all the like on, but they're in a parallel. And we know that's no good. So when you come around, let's make sure you get into a turn out. Double OP side. Double OP side. Making sure the arm comes up and stays up. Here we go with the double OP. Five, six, ready, and. These are to the front. Now we're going to the side. Next dancer's in. Same thing. Remember, a double ope is a kick that goes in and out. Good, we'll look at all four dancers together. Five, six, ready, and. That leg goes in and out. Good, take it around. Nice arm. Very nice, very nice. Next we'll go into a developpe variation that's a little bit more challenging. With the arms out and they stay out, we're taking a step developpe, a step with a hitch, a step to the back, and walk, walk. And it's going to alternate. Here we go, first two dancers, five, six, ready, and step devlo, devlo, pitch it back, good. And step devlo, Next two dancers in. Step, hop. Very nice, and step, dev low. Remember, a dev low goes in and out. It's a little bit challenging when you're going to the back. Good, let's have all four dancers coming back in unison. Left side, six, five, six, ready, and step, dev low. Pitch, take it back. Very nice, dev low. Good. Very nice, girls. On a double OPE variation with turns, we're going to start with the right leg prepared. Coming across, one, two, three, double OPE side, five, six is a preparation, seven and eight and, you're ready to cross again on the one. Always crossing to the front on count number one. Here we go, five, six, ready, and cross, two, three, dev low, five, six, seven, and eight, and cross, two, three, dev low, spot that corner, good, dev low, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, up, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, up, good, let's all come back as a group on the left side, five, six, Five, six, nice preparation. You see how you're zigzagging sort of side to side. So you've always got to spot the corners. Five, six. Good, now let's join a bottemont on to that double OPE combination. We've taken the double OPE on each side. One, 
two, three, step low, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, step low, five, six, seven, and eight, and from there, you cross over on count number one, one bop ma, take it back, take it back, step bop ma, take it back, take it back, pivot, from here you bop ma up and you hold it there, from there you're going to bend your bottom leg, release, and pivot around, ready to start again, five, six, ready, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, good, five, six, ready to pivot, step, pivot, three, release, five, next group in, one, two, three, these are double pace, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, six, step, pivot, three, Release five and seven, eight. Good. Now let's look at the other side. All four dancers together. Ready and one, two, three. And five, six. Spot and spot and one, two, three. Five, six. Here we go. Cross up and cross up to the back. One, two, hold three. Lay out five and seven, eight. Then you start again with your cross. Five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, good. Let's go on. We're going to add some turns to a bop mop. Let me show you how you'd lead into all these uh, progressions that are coming up with the most simple one, which is a bop mop and a pirouette. The simple version is step, brush, pirouette, brush, pirouette. We'll go just across with bop mop and pirouette. Remember, a bop mop is a straight leg kick, six, ready, and step, brush, and pirouette. Good. Now just to demonstrate the double turns, Laura will do singles and then a double. And here's the double and a single. Very nice. And now Rachel will demonstrate all doubles. Five, six, ready, and. Doubles all the way across. Good, coming back, just the simple way. First two, five, six, ready, and on the left. Very nice. Now Laura comes in with a single and a double. Followed by Rachel, who will do all doubles. Now let's add a few more turns onto that bot mom pirouette. We're going to take two chasse entrenaut, a step bot mont, and a step pirouette. And then you go right back into your chasse entrenaut. Now remember on chasse entrenaut, you want to train them that they open into a second, not opening into a fourth. So going across, you've got to get that front leg always turned out. First two will just do single pirouettes. Five, six, ready, and. It's a jump, it's a jump, step, bump, mount, single pirouette. Now Laura will follow behind with a single and a double. A step, she gets to do a single this time. Next time through, she'll go for a double. Now Rachel will come in with all doubles. Five, six, seven, double turn. Good, coming back on the left. Five, six, ready, and chasse entrenaut, entrenaut, step, bump, mont, single pirouette. Laura's going to be coming in with a single and then a double. And Rachel will do all doubles. Let's go on to some layouts with the bot mop. We're going to take a chasse, a bot mop to the front, and then your body has to twist into a side looking layout. Let me go across this way so you can get a look. Chasse, step, chasse, step. It's important to turn those shoulders over and look at the ceiling. First two, five, six, ready, and. Chasse, bump, mont, lay out. 
Bont Mont layout. Good. We're going to add on to this, of course, with a chasse Bont Mont layout step, step, step pirouette. Chasse layout step, step, step pirouette. First dancer across, we'll just do single pirouettes. And five, six, ready, and one chasse. And five, six, seven, pirouette. And Rachel will demonstrate the double pirouettes. And five, six, seven, turn, turn. Good, let's look at each one of those again on the left. Five, six, five, six, Ready, and chasse, lay out. Good. Here comes Laura with a variation and Rachel with a double turn on that variation. Next we'll go on to simple fan kicks. We'll just run the simple versions first so that we can add on to them later. On a simple fan kick, you will prepare to the back and zigzag across the room. You'll take one, two, three, opposite arm, one, two, three, fan. Now, I don't really care how big my students get their leg, how high they get their leg, but I do care that they don't agitate the body, that it stays very square and this stays lifted and flat. Five, six, ready, and. Now the shoulders must stay down. Good, and the leg makes a nice big circle. A variation on a fan kick would be a chasse and a fan. We're coming around with one chasse and fanning around. Now, unlike what we just did that, that goes across flat, this goes across sideways. Chasse, step, and fan. Five, six, five, six, ready, and. Good. Now you can add a little bit of a layout to this if you like. We're going to do a variation on this fan kick by adding two fan kicks in a row. It will be like this. You take a chasse, a fan, a step that makes a chenet actually, then another fan, and another step, and you're on the other side. So, look for this chaine. Chasse, step, fan, chaine, fan, walk. And then you're ready to alternate on to the left. Five, six, ready, and. Good, and this takes tremendous strength, in the abs particularly. Okay, let's look at the simple fan on the left side. Five, six, five, six, ready, and. Good. Now Rachel's going to come across with a chasse and a fan. And Laura will add the variation. Let's go on to pirouettes. We'll start into turns now. Now on the pirouette, I do my simple, most basic pirouette out of a cross ball change. So, I just take cross ball change pirouettes and I'm always drilling my students to stay really high on their um, standing leg and to make a perfect circle out of their arms because there's nothing worse than terrible arms on a pirouette. And always, always, always drilling that spot to the front. Here are the simple version of pirouettes. Five, six, ready, and. These are singles. Good, now Laura and Rachel will come in with doubles. Five, six, ready, and. Cross ball, change double, cross ball, change double. Let's come across on the left with the simple pirouettes, five, six, Five, six, ready, and cross, ball, change, pirouette. Next two come in with doubles. Cross, ball, change, spot, spot. Cross, ball, change, spot, spot. Cross, ball, change, spot, spot. 
good. The next type of simple turn that we really need to drill in jazz is the pas de bourre turn. The pas de bourre has three little steps on it. One, two, three, one, two, three. The trick is stepping behind yourself. One, two, three, step behind, two, three, step behind, two, three, step behind, two, three. We're going to take the pas de bourre on the first group with arms here on ba. The second group will demonstrate an arm variation. Five, six, ready, and pas de bourre, one, two, three. Good. Second group in, five, six, ready, and arm variation. On the left, five, six, ready, and one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Nice on ball arms. And then we see a variation on the arms. Good. It should look very free. Let's go on a little bit. We're going to add on. We have cross ball change, pas de bourre, pirouette. Let's look at that all together. Cross, ball, change, pas de bourre, turn, turn, chane. And then we're going to start again with the first group. The second group will add on. Let me show you one more time. Cross, ball, change, turn, turn, chane. Cross, ball, change, chane. First group, five, six, ready, and cross, ball, Change, pas de bourre, turn, turn, chane. Cross, ball, change, pas de bourre, turn, turn, chane. Good, we're going to add on. So you just had cross, ball, change, pas de bourre, turn, turn, chane. From there, you step, pas de bourre, pas de bourre, turn, one chane, and then you do a double stag leap. So, it would go, the second part, you just came out of your double turn, chane, step, pas de bourre, pas de bourre, turn, double leap. And then of course, you'll end an arabesque to hold. Here's the variation, five, six, ready, and cross, ball, change, turn, turn, chane, step, pas de bourre, pas de bourre, turn, one leap, and hold. Good. Let's look at both of those on the left. Five, six, five, six, ready, and cross. Ball change. Good. And Laura will come across with a variation. Pas de bourre, turn, turn, chane, step. Pas de bourre, pas de bourre, turn. And ending in arabesque. Now we're going to drill half turns with jumps. We're coming across the room with a chasse, a step, and an arabesque jump with a half turn. A chasse, this time the arabesque will show a beat. The third variation would be a stag, your knee would come on up. The last variation would be a double attitude with the arms in a V. So I'm going to have each dancer show you a different variation. First, we're going to look at just the nice, clean arabesque. Six, ready, and chasse arabesque. Good. The next dancer comes in with a beat. Six, ready, and chasse with a beat. And now we're ready for the stag. Five, six, ready, and Laura will demonstrate a stag. Arms in a nice V. And Susan will come across. Five, six, ready, and with a double attitude. Good. Coming back. Five, six, ready, and arabesque. Five, six, add the beat. Here's the beat. Five, six, ready, and here's our stag. And the double attitude. Now let's put these all in combination. Each dancer will have to perform three of those skills. Chasse, step arabesque. 
Chasse, step, stag. Chasse, step, double attitude. Chasse, step, and end in a nice arabesque. First two dancers across, we'll do all three of those skills. Here we go, five, six, ready, and. Arabesque, and here's the stag. Double attitude, and a nice turn and hold. Next group, arabesque, there's your stag. Double attitude, and hold. Now the dancers are going to come across in a foursome with that combo. Five, six, ready, and. Chasse to an arabesque, here's the stag, good. Attitude and chasse turn and hold. Always in across the floor, we're going to be drilling our turns. Every kind of turn you can think of. It's important to also do your ballet turn. The first dancer across will demonstrate piquet turns, simple piquets. Second dancer will do piquets with double turns. The third dancer across will demonstrate a pique and a forte. Now on the pique and the forte, you'll just do one and come into forte and then go back into your pique. First dancer, six, ready, and. Piques across, making sure the ribs stay in place and the arms make a nice circle all the way across. Next dancer with double turns, five, six, it'll be a single, a single, a single, and a double. Three singles and a double. Of course you can do single doubles or all doubles. Next dancer across, pique forte. Now on those fortes, remember to spot the front. Forte turns will spot the front. You can see that Rachel's changing her focus every time. On the left, simple five, six, ready, and. Nice piques. Pressing that thigh back. And here comes single, 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 double. Of course, you can do all single doubles. And the pique forte. Axles are very popular today, axle turns. But they're pretty hard to break down. Basically, what an axle is, is a chasse and a step hop with a rond de jambe. We're going to add the rond de jambe and the double cliff later. But just let me show you how to introduce axles in a way that makes them not so scary. You'll take a chasse and a step hop. Now on the step hop, you've got to turn all the way around. If you've really never done axles before, you could just take a chasse, half turn step hop just to teach them. But we're going to take him with a full step hop the first time through, then we'll look at a real axle. Here we go, axles with a straight leg step hop. Five, six, ready, and. Good, we're going to pull those arms into a V. By doing them that way, your dancers will learn how to jump in the air and do a complete tour, and it makes it not so threatening. Now on a real axle, You'll take the chasse, and during the step hop, your arm and leg go out together into rond de jambe and clip in over your head. Both legs come up at the same time. Six, ready, and chasse, step around. Good, let's look at the straight leg and then the real axle. Six, ready, and. Nice long arms, and spot the front. Here come the real axles. Five, six, ready, and. Now we're going to do a combination across the floor with that axle turn. It goes like this. A chasse, a step, an axle. A chasse, a step, a fan. One, coupe, two, three. First arabesque turn, four, five, six. Walk seven, eight, and you're ready to go again. Let me demonstrate that for you. Chasse, axle, fan. One, two, three, seven, eight. And you're ready to go again. 
Five, six, ready, and... One, two, three, hold, five, six, walk, seven, eight. Good, let's look at the other side. Five, six, ready, and... Let's look at how we can put some of these progressions into a combination. We'll just pick and choose some and put them together. The first one will go with the chanes. We'll do the high, the low, the high and high and low, into the chasse with a two hitch kicks back, into the coupe and arabesque turn. From there, we'll come into our preparation just like the beginning, and with the other leg in front and do our layout. Come back up to center and you're ready to go again. The first two dancers will demonstrate this combination. Five, six, ready, go. On the left, Five, six, ready, and. Here's another demonstration of putting together progressions to make a combination. This time we'll take a chasse, a step and a fan, a chasse, one hitch and then step, put you on the other side, for a beat, chasse, here's your layout, walk, 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 ready for a pirouette, one, two, three, fan, step together, and here's that last hip isolation. Here we go, Susan will demonstrate, five, six, ready, and. Now we're ready to go into leaps. Our first set of leaps are pretty basic. It will be a chasse, a step, jeté, a chasse, a step, jeté. Now remember, jeté is different than saut de chat. A jeté is like a bottom, it comes straight out instead of in and out. Ready to demonstrate? Five, six, ready, and one, two, and jump. Five, six, good. Let's go on to chane jeté. On a chane jeté, you complete a chane turn in plié so that you can push off. By the time you get to your leap, it's very difficult to get this arm into the V. Sometimes it likes to lag back here. Make sure you get it all the way lifted into the V. Five, six, five, six, ready, and one, and up. Good, let's look at both of those loops coming back across. Five, six, five, six, ready, and. Ready to go. Let's drill some stag leaps. In a stag leap, you'll take a step, the passe comes up and your arms go in a V. Five, six, ready, and. Step, stag. Good, keep that chest up. Let's look on the left side. All four dancers together. Five, six, ready, and. Now we're going to practice a very explosive move. We're going to go into the stag, but before it lands, it jets out in front into a straight leg. Let's look at the first two dancers. Five, six, ready, and. In, out, in, out, in, out. Very explosive. Good, let's watch those first two dancers coming back across on the left foot. Five, six, 
five, six, ready, and. Remember when we did the basic chasse step leap across the floor? We're going to use that same basic foot pattern, but instead of just doing a plain leap, when you go up into your leap, your back leg comes to attitude and you go into a big arch up in the air. We'll watch uh, Lisa and Susan demonstrate that right now. Five, six, ready, and chasse, step brush leap, chasse. Good, nice arch in the back. Let's watch it on the other side. Five, six, five, six, ready, and. Now we're ready for our turn and leap variation. We're going to take two PK turns, a stop, and a walk. From there, tombe, pas de bourre, very classical. A nice jump in second position, both legs, and ending with two soda shots across the room to finish. First two dancers will demonstrate single turns, the second two will do doubles. Here we go, prepared, and five, six, ready, and PK, PK, stop, walk, 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 tombe, pas de bourre, little jump, soda shots. Good, next two dancers, five, six, ready, and PK, double PK, stop, walking the other way, down, pas de bourre, and soda shots. Good, on the left, five, six, ready, and PK, PK, stop, walk, 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 tombe, pas de bourre, nice little second. Good, second dancers. Now let's watch from the front view. Five, six, ready, and. 